Hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Tim. I co-founded a fish farm hub here in Uganda. Uh, today we are at this farm. I thought you'd like to see this. This is Reverend Backer's farm. So I've been here a couple of times, um, but back in 2017, so <laughs> it's been a long time. Uh, but he's, uh, he's been around as a fish farmer for a long, long, long time. And he actually is one of the fish farmers that today we're supplying with a thousand fingerlings. So the last of our F8 generation, and we're going to stock into these ponds, um, which is exciting. So you can see he's done a bit of work, patchwork here. Um, it's an interesting little pipe there. You know, he's a reverend, so that's his main profession. Um, but he's sort of looking at... Um, this additional income for him and his family uh, and this is one of the ways he's doing that um, I actually ca I saw him this morning as he was coming to the farm I didn't get him on a video but um, he's just we were just coordinating with Sam on, on how to stop fingerlings you saw that a couple of videos back a few well, more than a couple now you would have seen us stocking fingerlings for farmers um, and this is uh, you know he's I would say he's a sort of fairly typical farmer thousand is a bit more than we would you know it's on the Ferrari area thousand fingerlings is a decent number we sold what 350 200 500 um, 2000 is the most I think to one individual maybe actually maybe that's not true but you, you thousand is, is going up there and I, the hope would be that in the future he can expand a bit and um, this will be his main production I don't know if I don't think he's he might stock in there as well um, and then he's got these sort of feeder ponds. But you can see uh, some of the work that he's done. And this is, this here uh, is typical of when you're trying to drain a pond. So if you don't have pipes, you can see there's a leak there. I don't know if that's a leak or a little pipe. I'm gonna have a look in a second. There is one down there, a small pipe, which isn't suitable. It's like a sort of that round and you need a big, big pipe like that. Um, sort of two inch. Is that two inches? I don't know. Four inch pipe? Four inch pipe, I think. So I tend to work in millimeters. I think, but it's, they sell them in four inches, I think. And then that one is too small. But anyway, my point is this is the typical of what they would do. So they're trying to drain the pond. You would basically break the bank. This has obviously been done previously. Um, and then all the water comes out, and you can put a net by the entrance um, so you catch your fish as they come out. Um, that's how you would empty a pond in these systems. Um, but of course that's problematic for a number of reasons. One, you can't control the water flow once you've done that very easily. Um, obviously they, they've had to, re and then you have to repair it, they've put some sacks in, um, but you don't get that granular control. That's a good word for you, granular. Uh, you don't get that granular control that you're often looking for. So, um, yeah, pipes is the preferred way, but the, the reason people don't use pipes is the cost. So you're looking at 40,000 shillings about eight pounds per pipe um, and you need well, depending on the, the range but here you would and, and the size of your pond you might sometimes you put two outlets to two two pipes to come out so you get a faster um, flow because you want to do it fairly quickly um, and then you need to put the the elbow which is they can cost another 40,000 uh, so it's just a PVC elbow and then you've got the up pipe um, so basically, I mean, you, you can get a big piece and then you cut it in two, so that can work. Um, but you're looking at 80,000 to 160,000 and people are like, ah, oh, let me save some money and I'll just do it this way because it doesn't cost them as much. Um, you remember the cost of daily labourer is 10,000 shillings. So 40,000 for a pipe plus the corner, 80,000, you're like, that's eight days work. And it's much, you know, it's not going to take someone eight days to make cut a hole here. Um, uh, let's have a look. Yeah, this... Actually, I think it is. Get, get your shot. Um, so that is some sort of jury rigged pipe. You can see it's a bit broken off there, um, but it's it's just going straight in. I think with no upstand, um, and so there's not the control there. And it's a bit broken, so that's good. Yeah, here's another break in the pond. You see, so this is sort of draining water. And I think what happened was if I. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Backer has emptied this out and now he's refilling it. And so he's used this to do that. Um, and this is probably, there'll be a lot of water in here. And that's just gone down um, over the last couple of days. And then here, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is... Uh, it's not, but 
this looks like old plants material. Um, so they would, I, I, was, I wondered if it was going to be fertiliser. That would be a, an improvement for a lot of farmers that we see. We don't often see them fertilising their ponds. Um, we do advise that, but people don't always um, follow. Although this looks a bit greener than I would think, so maybe there is some fertiliser. Um, like I say, Beck has been doing this for a while, so he knows a bit more what he should be doing. Um, and that's that pipe I was talking about. Uh, so it's not, you know, I mean it's helpful, but it's not what the size you need. 